You are still watching Ways. Now, the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking is observed every year on the 26th of June, since its inception in 1989. The idea is to strengthen action and cooperation to achieve the goal of an international society free of drug abuse. Now, during the International Conference on Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, which was held in Vienna, during the um the 17th to 26th of june in 1987 two important texts that is the comprehensive multidisciplinary outline of future activities in drug abuse control and declaration of the international conference on drug abuse and illicit trafficking was observed now the conference recommended that there should be an annual day to mark the importance of the fight against drug abuse and illicit trafficking so this is a very very important day they should also add that we are not supposed to use other drugs from the hospital with, uh, from the chemist without yeah, prescription you know, so drugs it is not only about um you know when cannabis, they hear, yeah when they hear, yes, drug when they hear drug abuse all they can think about cocaine or we other hard drugs, drugs. Now. so it, it's know? not only about that yeah. drug abuse it's stems holistic. from everything from uh, what's it called um, yes holistic mm. from you going to the chemist to get drugs that wasn't on prescription mm -hmm. and at the same time going Ingesting to take all the agbos and all of that <laughs> they're all drugs but the agbos from what i even heard well, I've been is, making helping, my from home, is helping some people cure covid huh. so i heard you see i don't even want to take chances <laughs> so what we've been doing we've been burning a lot of mm -hmm. what uh, what's, what's it called? No. Uh, purple leaf mm -hmm. um What's it called? Dogoyaro, that's the name leaf. And I had lemongrass. Lemongrass, lemon, lime, wow. ginger. Wow. We blend it. Very bitter. But it will wake you up. <laughs> Please, I need to get that concussion. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, you just, at least you take mm -hmm. it once in the morning, one at night, and all yes. of that. But it's actually very good. So, but I, I, I think this is very important because, mm -hmm. honestly speaking, a lot of people. I told you of the accident that happened to my car when somebody yes, hit my car last absolutely. week. I mean, today makes it one week. Yeah. You know, I mean, the guy apparently maybe lost his mind because he was not there. He wasn't present. Hmm. You know, I, I think there should be something, you know, in the air. But a lot of mm -hmm. people are actually taking drugs. A lot of people. A, a friend of mine actually said it's not all drivers that are normal these no, days no. because a lot of them are on some sort of drugs yes. or the other. You have to give them the energy to carry exactly. on. And so there's a lot you know, of drug abuse going on. Especially due to the on. fact that everybody has some sort of stress they're going through Absolutely. right now. So they're all looking for one outlet or the other. Absolutely. And the only thing they can think about is yeah, drugs. Is drugs. Yeah. All right, so darling, what did you find for us in the news? In the news today, we discovered that 72 health workers in um, Enugu hmm. tested positive to wow. COVID-19. Wow. Now, the, the, um, we can't overemphasize the, the need for us to, to wear the PPE mm -hmm. as health workers. Mm -hmm. And the earlier the government understands this, the better for was, the health was workers. That, was the PPE the, the, the cause that was stated why 72 health workers tested? Tested what, positive. They just stated that they were tested positive. They tested positive. So they didn't me. say. They didn't state this is how the they were, how, how they contracted. They, yes, the, and you know in Nigeria we have this muchi muchi way we do things. We mm. will not go straight to the point. We won't say this is the reason why. So that the healthcare workers will not come back At and bounce. And pay attention. Exactly. So we need to understand that PPE is essential for every healthcare Front line worker. worker. Yes. Even us, we need PPE right now. <laughs> I have one here and my nose mask. And for those, my Eastern brothers, that feel that, oh, COVID-19 is not real. Now it is in Enugu. They should yeah. be very mindful Absolutely. because everybody has one family or the other. In one way or the other, we are all connected at the yeah. end of the day. I think it's also important, though, because I'm also taking a health story because today we're talking healthcare. Yes. Um, Lagos State has approved um, seven private labs for COVID-19 testing. That's mm -hmm. according to Professor Akin Abayomi. That's the commissioner for, for health. And mm -hmm. this approval was meant, I mean, was, a, was done to, to ramp up COVID-19 testing in the state. Now, this was really shocking for me. Seven local government areas, that's Etiosa, Alimosho, Koshofe, Ikeja, Oshodi, Surulere, Lagos, Mainland, have the highest number wow. of infection wow. in the state. Koshofe local government is where, what's his name, passed. 
um, um, the late uh, former senator, governor. no senator no. Ajimobi uh, Oshin Oshinawa. Oshinawa. He he lives in Ogudu, so okay. that is Koshofe local government, you know. Wow. And <laughs> a lot of a lot of deaths that we've been hearing. In fact, yesterday I was I was in Magodo and I was hearing some people die, some people die. You know, the reason we would hear about maybe uh, a senator Oshinawa was because maybe he's a prominent person. Exactly. There are quiet people just dying. You know, exactly. as a result of complication, um, mm -hmm. the B E B B Natural Spa, okay. the CEO of B yes, Natural, yeah, I saw that as well. Yeah, she she. But she had an underlying ailment. Yeah, of she course, most of them had that. underlying ailments. Yes. The um, the governor, uh, former governor Ajimobi, that has mm -hmm. passed. It was based on complications of, of um, organ failures and all wow. of that. So the the COVID nineteen doesn't really kill per se. It only kills most times. It becomes so fatal when you already have a, an underlying health... Pre-existing yes, pre condition. Pre so that's why they, they keep emphasizing that if you know you have, you know, pre-existing health conditions, mm -hmm. stay clear. Fumi sent us a very lengthy exactly. write-up. That was very scary for me when I was reading. I read it halfway and I stopped. Exactly. You know, because the guy did everything. You to know, the to the left, yes, he did everything in terms of protection and all of and that, and it still snuck its way in. in. How so? That's the so now you just hit the nail on the head. So, they don't just report that 72 people tested, mm -hmm. uh, health workers tested positive. Can we investigate how they got tested? So, is it that they are using substandard PPEs or they, they, ha they didn't have PPEs at all? Let us mm -hmm. let us begin to probe why. So this when happened. we when we when we are able to find out why, why we'll be able to fight it better. Exactly. Yeah, and curb it. All exactly. right. So I think we'll take a break. <laughs> That's all we can take. When we come back, Afolabi will join us to discuss the power. I mean, powering the healthcare sector. So stay with us. We'll be right back.